Morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing great today. Good to see everybody out there. Let's go ahead and get started. Today's workout is gonna be a little bit of single leg RDL work, and then we're also gonna do some a shoulder work also today primarily. So that's the two things we're gonna focus on. So go ahead, grab your sticks. Let's get those feet warmed up. Let's get the arm lines warmed up at the same time. So we're gonna set our feet about uh, shoulder width apart. Sticks are in line with the, with the toes, middle toes, and then move the sticks forward about eight to 10 inches in front. So you got your two long sticks, reach up, rope grip on the sticks. If your sticks that you have, the long sticks that you have are a little bit too short to hang on, once again, always use an elevated platform and you'll instantaneously have longer sticks. So let's get set up. And from here, let's hang. So we have our weight on our arms. And now let's bring our heels up so that our toes are in extension. Make sure you're centering the weight on the center of the foot. Make sure you're not out on the little toe or collapsing too much in on the big toe. Now from here, we're going to rotate the sticks and the torso to the left. So we're gonna open up those spiral lines a little bit. And you'll feel your feet rotating also a little bit. They're turning into the floor. Rotate to the right. Your hips are gonna turn slightly, not a lot, just a little bit. And now back to the left. So you're gonna kind of feel those toes kind of, kind of rotating into the ground. To the right. Let your head rotate with the stick so you can see where you're going. One more in each direction. Left, remember keep those heels up, you're on your toes. Over to the right. back to center and relax. Let's go ahead and put one stick on down. All right. Let's take a wide base with the feet. We're gonna place the long lever end of the stick over to nine o'clock. Take a right overhand grip with the right hand near the end of the stick. What we're gonna do is place the left hand on top of the stick. We're gonna sink our weight towards our left right hip and we're gonna reach out towards nine o'clock. What I want you to do is push your left foot, especially the outer line down into the floor. You're gonna feel this lateral ankle open up. You're pushing this hand down into the stick at about 30%. Come back up and again. Reach out, you're shifting weight onto the right hip. Come back up, two more. Reach, shift weight. One more. Reach, shift weight over onto the right hip. Come back up. Awesome. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now we're moving the long lever end to the right side to three o'clock. Overhand grip on the left hand, right hand on the stick. And now here we go. We're gonna sink weight laterally onto the left hip. Reach out with that right hand, push the outer part of the right foot down into the floor. Come back up, three more. Remember you're pushing that right hand down into the stick to add that tension. Two more. One more. Awesome, and come on back up. Let's go ahead and hit those hips moving. Let's grab two sticks. If you only have one stick, then what you can do is actually, we're gonna do internal external rotation taps. If you have just one long stick, then use a wall or a door jam. And what you can do here is place the stick at 11 o'clock and use the door jam as feedback for your internal rotation. So that's what you're gonna do if you only have one stick available, all right? For the others, for everybody else, grab two sticks. Hands are sternum level. Sticks are at 11 o'clock and one o'clock, feet together. Push the sticks into the floor about 50% tension. Bring your right hip up into flexion. And now we're gonna go internal stick tap, internal rotation, tap the right stick, 
External rotation, tap the left. Nice, easy motion, nice back and forth. Stay nice and tall through the left leg, so make sure you don't have the left knee bent. We're not leaning back. Nice, tall spine. Imagine somebody has a string at the top of your head and is pulling you up towards the ceiling. We're just tapping the stick. Make sure that your left hip is not flopping back and forth to give you that range of motion. If you feel that that left hip is doing that, then figure out which side it's on and then bring that stick a little bit closer to your midline or your center line. A couple more and relax. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Once again, 40-50% tension into the floor with the sticks. Push, bring that left hip up into flexion. And nice, slow taps. Working that internal, external rotation of the hips. Getting familiar with standing on one leg since we're gonna do some single leg RDL work today. Couple more. And relax, nice. Okay. Let's open those shoulders up a little bit. Overhand grip on the stick. Make sure those pinkies are firmly engaged with the stick. So do not let those fly off. Remember the pinkies are connected to the posterior arm line. So we wanna make sure that those are actively involved. Wide base with the feet. Take a horse stance. So drop the butt down towards the floor about two to three inches. Make sure your head is nice and stacked over your shoulders and the shoulders are stacked over your hips. So you wanna see a tall stack. Make sure you're not like this or pushing the butt back. Get the pelvis underneath you. You should feel your glutes engaged. You should feel your pelvic floor engaged. From here, pull apart on the stick at about 40% tension, pull. You're gonna feel that posterior arm line and now slowly go up overhead as you continue to pull. Do not let the ribs flare so we're not arching the back. Nice and slow, hold that position, breathe. Arms are straight, pelvis is tucked. You're feeling those glutes, it feels good. Now, slowly turn to the left. Keep pulling apart on the stick. Don't let your hips turn. So your glutes are actually engaging as brakes right now. So you should feel that left foot really digging into the floor to prevent rotation of the hips. And now keep pulling apart as we rotate to the right. Let your head turn. Squeeze the glutes. Back to center. Keep pulling apart as you slowly come back down. When you see the stick in your peripheral line of sight, push in on the stick, shorten it. And then you'll feel your anterior arm line or into your chest, all right? Step forward so I don't hit that uh, stanchion again. Okay, ready? Let's go again. Reset your hands, pull 40% tension, slowly come up overhead. Keep those ribs down, do not get into the low back. Try to pull back a little bit further this time. And now keep pulling apart and now let your right hand win. Keep your torso still. So it's just your scapula moving. Arms are still straight, right hand's pulling down a little bit more. Your left hand comes into the overhead position. And now let the left hand win. So the left hand is pulling just a little bit harder than the right. You're still keeping tension on that right arm though. It should be reflexive. Pull overhead position with the right hand. You're still pulling apart on that stick, ribs down. Come back to center. Keep pulling apart as we come back to the starting position. When you see the stick in your line of sight, push in, shorten that stick. Breathe. Okay, ready? And again, pull up overhead, 40% tension, pulling apart on that stick. Bring the ribs down, all elbows straight, and now slowly pull the stick down behind the head. Do it. Don't push your head forward to clear that stick. Breathe, hold, and now 
I'll extend the arms back up to the ceiling. Let's go one more. Pull the stick back down, breathe. Back up, keep pulling apart, bring the stick back to your starting point. When you see the stick in your peripheral line of sight, push in on the stick, shorten it. Excellent, very nicely done. Okay, now let's open up that thoracic spine a little bit, get your rotation warmed up. Nice wide base with the feet. Stick is at three o'clock, right against the right instep. Right arm is at three o'clock. Make sure the right hand is above your head or at the top of your head level. We're gonna push that stick into the floor at about 40% tension. We're gonna push, feel the right lateral tissues. And now we're gonna to lunge to the left leg and reach across our body with the left arm. Come back up. We're gonna do five of these, ready? Sink to your left hip. Reach across with that left arm. Come back up, three more. Back up, two more. Remember, you're still pushing that hand, right hand down into the ground at 40% tension the entire time. One more, here we go. Reach. Back up, excellent. Switch sides. Stick is against the left instep. Left hand stays at nine o'clock position. Hand is above the head. Push the stick into the floor, 40% tension. Now let's sink our weight to the right hip and reach across the body with that right arm. So you're reaching out to your nine o'clock. Back up, four more, ready? Sink into that right hip. Reach across with that left hand. Back up, three more. Ready, reach. Keep that left arm at nine o'clock, so don't let the hand move forward at all. Ready, two more. Reach. One more, ready. Reach out, sink weight onto that right hip. Come back up and relax. Nice. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is our RDL, single leg RDL. We're gonna use the wall as an anchor point. We're gonna push back into the wall to get your posterior line fired up a little bit more. If you need a lot of stability, we're gonna use two sticks for this. For those who want an advanced version, you're only gonna use one long stick. So you're gonna face away from the wall. So set both sticks into the base of the wall. So they're behind you at essentially five o'clock and seven o'clock. Feet are together, hands are gonna be right in front of your pockets. So your hands are at 11 and one, chest up, head up. We're gonna push the sticks back into the base of the wall. So this is your setup with a double stick. If you have a single stick, let's go right hand. You're gonna push, and now we're gonna bring that right hip up into flexion. So whether you have two sticks or one stick, that right hip is coming up into flexion. And now we're gonna hinge. We're gonna take a bow. So we're going into the hinge pattern on that left hip. We're extending that right foot straight back towards the wall. We're still constantly pushing this right hand into the base of the wall. So you're gonna feel that left glute to right shoulder lat tie-in. Dorsiflex your right ankle. We're spending some time here. Come back up. So that's your single stick. We got th two more reps. So for two sticks, right here, ready? Push and hinge. Make sure as we're pushing the sticks backwards, you're not leaning back. So think about, I'm trying to actually propel myself forward. So you should actually feel most of your weight transferring to the front two thirds of your foot. Internally rotate that right hip down towards the floor. Keep your back nice and flat and straight. Come back up. And now one more, ready? 
You should be feeling that left foot all the way to your left glute. Back is nice and straight. Try to pull your to push your toes into the floor lightly. Drive back up and relax. So now we're gonna switch feet. If you have that single stick, switch to the left hand. So it's gonna coincide with the leg that you have up in the air. So once again, we're gonna push the stick into the base of the wall with either two sticks or one. And we're gonna bring that left, hand, left leg up into flexion. So we're pushing back into the wall with the stick at about 50, 60% tension. And now we're gonna hinge. So we're pushing this right glute back. We're extending the left heel straight back. So see how I have my left ankle dorsiflexed? I'm driving that stick into the base of the wall with that left hand. I wanna feel that right glute to left shoulder tie in. Now I'm gonna come back up. Nice and tall, full extension on this right hip. No shifting your weight back, no leaning. All right, so that's the single stick. So let's go two more reps. So here we have the double stick, hinge. If you have two sticks, drop one and see if you can do it with just the single stick. It's gonna be much more challenging. Come back up. One more rep, ready, here we go. Hinge, push, drive that right glute back, drive that left heel back, driving those sticks into the base of the wall, make sure that left hip is internally rotated, drive back up, and relax. Excellent. Okay, Spartan kick, face the wall. Imagine there's a target and you're gonna to wanna to push your foot towards that target on the wall. So we have essentially a single leg back bend. Feet together. Sticks just about chest level. Sticks at 11 and one. Push the sticks into the floor, 50, 60% tension. Bring that right hip up into flexion. And now squeeze your left glute, lean back, drive that right foot forward. Come back up, two more reps, ready? Push those sticks in the floor, drive that right heel forward, push. Come back up, let's go one more, ready, here we go. And relax. Let's go three reps on the other side. Ready, here we go. 50, 60% tension, pushing those sticks into the floor. Left hip up into flexion and go. Drive that left heel forward to try to touch that wall. Squeeze that right glute. Come back up. Two more reps, ready, here we go. Exhale as you reach out. Remember, you're trying to push the left heel, not the toes. Come back up, one more rep, here we go, ready? Push, reach, come back up, and relax. Woo. That'll get you going first thing in the morning, or for you East Coasters, lunchtime right now. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our IYs T's, and that's to work shoulder mobility. And what we're gonna do is the sticks are gonna give you better feedback because as you lift one stick up, let's say in this position, I'm gonna lift my right arm back. As I do that, I'm reflexively going to push with my other side. So we're gonna work with the sticks. We can then work anterior and posterior arm lines simultaneously. Ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Here's your front view. We're gonna set our feet about shoulder width apart or hip width apart. I'm gonna have my sticks right at 11 o'clock and one o'clock, and we're gonna place the, the hands just about shoulder level, all right? And now we're gonna push the sticks into the floor at about 50, 60% tension, and we're gonna hinge. So it's essentially a standing child's pose. Back is nice and flat. Try to keep your head in neutral position. 
So here's what my side profile is going to look like. Now, without moving the torso, what I want you to do is take your left hand, retract your left scapula, and try to lift the stick up off the floor. Don't move your torso, though. And as you do that, as you're actively retracting that left scapula, you should reflexively push that right hand down harder into the floor. Bring the left hand down, push. Make sure you're pushing that left hand into the floor at about 50, 60% tension. And now lift the right hand. Retract the right scapula. Keep your elbows straight. And as you retract that right scapula, you should feel your left hand pushing the stick into the floor a little bit harder. Bring the right hand down. Make sure as you do this, you're not holding your breath. It's a bracing technique, but it shows a little bit of dysfunction in the core tissues. So you do want to make sure you're able to breathe while you're holding this isometric contraction. Ready? Here we go. Stay in that child's pose. Push. If that was pretty easy for you, move your hands up the stick higher. All right? Okay, ready? We're driving those sticks in the floor about 50 per 60% tension. Lift the left arm. Retract that left scapula. Try not to arch the low back. That's another compensatory position that people are going to pull from. Keep the ribs to the hips. Left shoulder down. Push. Drive that stick into the floor, 50, 60% tension. Retract that right scapula. Lift that right stick. Stay out of the low back. Keep the ribs to the hips. Breathe. Right stick down. And relax. Okay. So that's your I. Now we're gonna go into a Y. So this was your setup the first time. Now let's move the sticks out to about 10 o'clock and two o'clock, all right? So here's your Y. Arms extended, hands shoulder level, unless you have really good range of motion, then you can bring your hands up a little bit higher. If you have less range of motion, take your hands down lower on the sticks, all right? Okay, ready? 50%, 60% tension into the floor and hinge. Make sure your arms are reaching out in the same angle as 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Don't let those arms come forward because then you're coming back into your I position. Make sure the arms are in a Y. Push. And now lift the left stick. Try not to shift your weight too much retracting that left scapula, and you should find that you're pushing that right hand a little bit harder into the floor. Bring the left hand down, push, drive the stick into the floor about 50, 60% tension, retract the right scapula. Keep the ribs to hips, make sure you're not using that lumbar spine. Right stick down, push, and now lift the left. Left stick down, push, and now lift the right. Right stick down and relax. Okay, so now we got your T formation. Feet are together, our feet are still shoulder width apart, sorry. Now I'll move the sticks out to three and nine. So if you look at your toes here, just place your sticks at your toes and then slide them out. Because once we go into the hinge, then we'll have those sticks nicely at three and nine. Once again, shoulders or uh, hands are at shoulder width or shoulder height. If you're a little bit more mobile, you can bring your hands up a little bit higher. If you're less mobile, slide your hands down. Ready? Give me 50, 60% tension into the floor with the sticks and hinge. Do not let your arms change from that three or nine o'clock position. So they are still pushing out to the sides. Driving those sticks in the floor. Now lift the left stick. You may find that this angle is a little bit harder to do this in. 
Left stick down, push, lift the right stick. Don't let your forward, the head go forward towards the floor. Try to keep that still. Right stick down, push. Now lift the left. Retract that left scapula in towards your spine. Left stick down, push, lift the right. Breathe. Right stick down. Whew. Come on back up. That was nice. Take a little breather. Okay, so RDLs, a little bit of shoulder. Now, let's get into some stretching. We're gonna open up biceps into that anterior tissue of the chest, all right? So I'm gonna use the base of the wall. If you only have one stick, you're only just gonna do one side at a time. For the rest of us with two, we're gonna do double, and then we're gonna add some rotation, okay? Place the sticks into the base of the wall. So the sticks are basically at, let's say, 10 o'clock and two o'clock. All right, with your hands, overhand grip. So that way your biceps are actually facing the wall. Feet together. Now, take a step forward with your left foot and your back heel comes up. So your left foot is forward, right heel is up. And now a 30% tension, push the sticks in towards the base of the floor. So you are actively, lightly pushing the sticks in towards the base of the floor. You should feel your whole anterior arm line through your biceps all the way into your chest light up. That should feel really good. Now, take your torso and turn your torso to the left. And as you turn your torso left and your head left, you're gonna feel more amplification in that right arm line. So if you have the only one stick and you have the stick in your right, you're turning your torso to the left. For those of with two sticks, now turn your torso to the right. And as you turn your head and torso to the right, you feel more amplification in the left bicep arm line. For those of you just using one stick, just keep repping out your rotations like you just to the one side. So for people with one stick, you're always rotating away from the stick. Let's go back to the left. And you can actually feel a little bit of stability needed in that split stance, especially out of the front, out of the front leg. Turn to the right. And as you turn, you're gonna feel a little bit more different push into the floor with that back foot. Remember, you're not leaning weight forward, you're just actively pushing the arms forward. Come back to center and relax. Take a second, we're gonna do that again. So for people with a single stick, let's switch sides, okay? Ready, here we go. Now we're gonna step forward with the right foot. So we're gonna challenge that left toe extension. So left heel stays up, ready? Push the sticks into the floor, about 30% tension. Breathe. And now slowly turn your torso to the right. And as you turn your torso to the right, you're gonna feel that intensify through the left arm line, pec, bicep, and now turn to the left. As you turn your torso left, you're gonna feel that amplify in the right arm line, pec, bicep, down into the forearm and the wrist. Once again, back to the right. Back to the left. Back to center and relax. Okay, let's get a little bit of hanging in. Let's get our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna place that stick at three o'clock position. We're gonna reach up 
Let's use our fingertips today. Let's get those fingers really working. If that's a little too intense for you, then just take a rope grip, all right? But for the rest of us, just try to get all four fingers or as many fingers on the top of the stick as you can or whatever stick you're using. Reach across with that left hand at sternum level and now kick back with that right foot. So the stick is at three o'clock. You just split that right foot back, keep your back heel up and now let's hang. Just drop your weight straight down towards the ground, just like an elevator. You're not shifting your weight forward. You're not shifting your weight back. Just drop straight down. Remember that left hand is there to support the stick so that way you know the stick is gonna hold your weight. Once you know the stick is gonna hold your weight, let go of the stick. We have a nice passive hang, gravity's pulling us down towards the ground. And now push the stick into the floor at about 40% tension. As you push that stick into the floor, you're gonna feel your right lat engage, all these tissues here. Breathe. And now rotate and reach back for your six o'clock. You're pushing that stick into the floor at that 40%, 30-40%. Come back to center. Ease off a little bit, so just come and stand up. So extending the legs up, reset your fingers if you need to. If that was a little too intense for just the fingers, then come back to that rope grip, all right? For the rest of us, let's just keep those fingers up on top. So that's what right here is what you're looking at. Okay, ready? Here we go. Drop. Passive hang first. Just drop your weight straight down towards the ground. Let gravity do its thing. And now 30, 40% tension, push that stick into the floor. Let's pack that right shoulder down. And now this time with the left hand, reach across your body to three o'clock. you should be retracting or pulling back that right shoulder. Come back to center and relax. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So we're moving the stick to nine o'clock. Fingertips on top. Okay, bring that right hand across sternum level. Let's step back with the left foot. Left heel stays nice and high. Ready and drop straight down towards the ground. So you should actually be softening that left knee to do that. Breathe. Once you know the stick is gonna hold your weight, just let go with the right hand. And now with the left hand, push the stick into the floor at about 30 to 40% tension. You're gonna feel the lat engage. You're gonna feel your scapula, your shoulder blade pull down towards the floor. You're gonna feel all these tissues in this area intensify. And now take that right hand and reach back to your six. So the left arm is gonna come across the front of your body. Keep that hip still though, so don't let your hip fly out. So you should feel your right adductors trying to keep your hips square and forward. Come back to center, ease off. So go ahead and stand up. Take a couple seconds and again, Drop. Passive hang first. We're just letting gravity act upon us. And now at 30 to 40% tension, push the stick down with the left hand. And now with the left, right hand, reach across your body to nine o'clock. Remember, don't shift any weight forward or anything. Just simply reach across. Your left shoulder should retract back. Still pushing that stick down into the floor. Come back to center and relax. All right, let's go ahead, let's go to the floor and let's get some straddle position in, all right? Okay, so we're gonna go frog sit. So it's that in between for people that don't have the ability to get into a full straddle while maintaining a nice, a nice upright posture. So let's take your feet wide. Your hips are flexed and your knees are flexed. We're gonna grab the stick and we're gonna place it right under the balls of the feet. Let's go overhand grip on the stick. And with your toes, I want you to try to grab your stick. 
And as you do that, you're going to feel those feet, the tissues of the feet or the muscles of the feet light right up. If you get a little cramping in the tissues of the feet, just ease out of it and go back into it once the cramping dissipates. Okay, from here, imagine that someone has a uh, string at the top of your head and get a nice tall spine. And as you do that, you should feel some immediate feedback into the stick and all the way from the feet into the hips. And now with your knees, push your knees outward, actively push to three and nine. So we have a nice tall spine while we are pushing your feet, your knees out to three and nine. And you should be feeling that all through the groin area. Breathe. Ease off tension. Okay, if you can take your feet a little bit wider, take your feet wider. Ready? Take your hands a little wider too. And again, grab the stick with your toes. Nice, tall spine. And now push those knees away from each other. You're trying to drive those knees out to three o'clock uh, and nine o'clock. Breathe. Remember, don't arch the back. Create a nice tall spine. Try to lengthen it or actively push your spine up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Ease off tension. And let's go one more time. Ready? Here we go. Grab the stick with your toes. Nice tall spine. And now actively push those knees away from each other. Breathe. And now 30% tension, try to shorten the stick. So you're trying to shorten that stick a couple inches, just a couple. You'll feel your anterior arm line activating. And as you do that, it should put more tension immediately into that groin area or your adductor tissues. And relax. Excellent. All right, let's come on up. All righty. So we're going to get into some lateral bow and arrow, and we're going to do some hip flossing today and some shoulder flossing. All right. Let's take your feet nice and wide, maybe a little bit uh, wider than shoulder width. It's up to you. We're going to place the stick at three o'clock. The stick is about a good eight inches away from the midfoot. Grab right above the sticker or mid stick, whatever stick you're using, with the right hand, palm facing forward, left hand up, reach over the top. Remember, keep your hips square. They can't rotate right now. They must be facing forward. From here, push your hips out to nine o'clock first, and now extend the arms away from you. Remember, we're not leaning on the stick. Legs are nice and straight. Straighten those knees, no knees flexed, and you're trying to extend both arms, so your top arm should be straight also. Breathe. Ease off tension. Rotate the stick slightly, just give it a small rotation, about a third rotation. That way you're not flexing the stick in the same direction all the time. And again, push your hip out to nine o'clock, and now extend the arms away from you. So you're actively pushing with the bottom hand or the right arm, and you're reflexively pulling with the left. Not active pull, reflexive pull. Now, don't move the torso, the head, or the stick. Take your hips and move your hips to the left. Turn them left. Turn the hips right. Don't move the stick, just move the hips. Left. Right, left, right, back to center, ease off, rotate the stick slightly. Now we're going to floss the shoulders. Push the hip out to nine o'clock, drive the stick out to three. Now do not move the hips. The hips stay square, push the stick forward. And now pull the stick back behind you. Forward, keep the head tilted, back. 
Keep the ribs down as you go back. Forward, back. You want to stay out of the lumbar spine. One more. Forward, back. Back to center and relax. Let's finish up on the other side. Stick at nine o'clock. 90 degrees at the left elbow. Reach over the top with the right hand. Push your hip out to three o'clock first. And now drive the arms away from you out to nine. Let your head tilt. Legs are nice and straight. Breathe. Let your head tilt. Ease off tension. Rotate the stick slightly. And again, push your hip out to three. Drive the stick away to nine. Now, keeping the stick and torso still, rotate your hips to the right. Turn your hips left. Right. Left. One more. Right. Left. Back to center. Ease off. Now let's floss those shoulders. Ready? Here we go. Push your hip out to three. Extend the stick out to nine. Let your head tilt. Do not move the hips. Push your stick forward. Pull the stick back. Keep your ribs down. Forward. Back. One more. Forward. Back. Back to center. And relax. Great work today, everybody. Thank you for joining us as always. We love everybody out there. Thank you for your continued support. Hope everybody's healthy and safe out there. Uh, once again, as always, check out our YouTube channel. We've got all our workouts that we've been doing all available for you. So you can go back through all of them. Ton of content for you, tons of stretches and activations. Uh, new podcast with DJ Murakami was released uh, just a few days ago. Our next podcast will uh, feature Jill Miller. So she specializes, we talked to her about breathing techniques. So if you don't follow uh, Yoga Tune Up, Jill Miller, definitely give her a look and see what she, her content is all about. It is gonna be extremely beneficial for you. So until Saturday, you will see Coach Ray on Saturday. Everybody out there, be good to each other. Peace.